Thank you all for coming and for joining us for one of our summer library programs. For those of you who haven't started, please go to your local Timberland library to participate in the summer library program. You still have 18 days to do your 10 activities. And this year you get not only but one, but two free books, one for participating and two for finishing. So you still have 18 days before school gets started where you can get your free books and items. So come in, join us. And then also before we get started, Timberland Regional Library recognizes that we operate within the traditional territories of the Coastal Salish people who've been the stewards of these lands since time immemorial. TRL provides library services to Indian tribes extending beyond the ge geographic limits of Lewis, Mason, Thurston, Pacific, and Grace Harbor counties. This acknowledgement reminds us to strive for respectful partnerships with all people as we search for collective healing and learn how to be better stewards of this indigenous lands we inhabit. And don't forget, next week we have one more summer library program. Next week's program is a real scoop on animal poop. We are yes. going to learn about nice. animal poop and make yarn turtles. So oh, nice. August 19th, 1 p.m. We'll see you all there. And now it's time for Critter and Cranvas with Indiana Wild. Take it away, Beth. All right, great. Well, I am so excited that everybody is here because today you get to meet one of my most favorite animals. We're going to paint a picture. Now, first of all, I have to let everybody know this is fun art, not fine art. Yes. So, um, we're going to make a painting and it's all going to be individual uh, for each of us. So I'm going to lead you through the basics and then you're going to end up with your own individual picture. So I'm very excited to see how everybody does um, because uh, one thing is that we're using acrylic paints, I believe. Is that what everybody has is acrylic paints? I think. And so the main thing to remember that is less is more. So when we start off, there's a couple of tips that I'm going to give you. It's really important um, and it'll make your painting go a lot easier. Um, and first of all, the most important thing is we'll have some paint brushes, right? Everybody has a paint brush. And um, what you're going to do is this is a very important step. You should have a glass of water or something don't drink it. This is strictly for rinsing out your paintbrushes. So you will need some water, you'll need your paintbrushes and a paper towel or napkin or something like that. This is one of the most important steps when painting these pictures and that is how to give your paintbrush a bath. Because what happens is when we switch colors, you want to switch out um, and rinse out your brush. So to do that, you're going to have your paintbrush, you have your water, you put it all the way in there, really put it down on the bottom and really swirl it around on the bottom to get all your paint out of your brush. And then you dry it off and put it to bed. And that just means that you put your brush down. So we'll tell you about some different sizes or um, brushes. Now, if you have different shapes and sizes of brushes, you're going to start off with one of your smaller ones because we're going to use this one just like a pencil. But first, I guess I better explain, and maybe I'll give you a sneak peek of who we're painting today because, well, um, she's adorable. Yes, and she's a baby. Let me pull her out here. All right, are you ready, friends? This is Dottie. Look, look at that, yes. That is Dottie, friends. Isn't she cute? She is a hairy armadillo. Yes. Now, she is really cool because she is native to places like Belize and Paraguay and Argentina. And look at all those fun features. Look at her face. Look, she's like, woo. She likes to be tickled under the belly, but look at that. She can just go right here and just tickle, tickle. But look, she's got, these are called bands and all armadillos have those. So I'm gonna lead you in a picture painting Dottie. And, and then we're gonna talk more about her. Yes, I know, yes, I love you too, yes. Um, but look, she is pretty cool. She's a mammal, 
So she has all the things that mammals have. She has a backbone. Raise your hand if you have a backbone, right? We all have backbones. Yes, friends, that's some one very important thing. Keep it, use it, never lose it. That's very important. When you're teenagers, don't ever forget you have a backbone. Yes. We also know she's a mammal because she's covered in hair or fur. She's a hairy armadillo. So she will, uh, we'll have to make sure we put hair on her picture. Well, not real hair, but we'll use our paintbrushes to do that. So the first thing we're going to start off with is if you have a canvas board, we have, this is called portrait. This is called landscape. So we're going to do landscape because she does have kind of a, um, her body will fill up quite a bit of this. And we're going to use basic shapes like triangles and half circles and things like that. So we're going to start with our brown and you're going to use it just like a pencil. So you just dip it into your paint. You can put some of the paint on the side, um, even back into the paint. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna make a triangle. Now, the one thing to remember is her head is gonna be over here and she has kind of a triangle shaped head and we're gonna start over here and then we'll make the rest of her body over on this side. So what you're gonna do is take your smallest brush and if you just put a line across here. Now we're not gonna fill this in because um, we're gonna, change up some of our colors a little bit. So you just do one line here and then come down and there we have a triangle. And honestly, we could use a triangle shape for lots of different animals. So you're just going to add a triangle. If you're looking at your painting, it's gonna be on the left side of your painting. Just make a triangle. Right there. All right, so does everybody have their triangle? Good, yes, you have your triangle, nice. All right, so we have our triangle. And remember, we're just using this kind of like our pencil, so we're not gonna fill in or anything. We're just making our basic drawings. Now, off of this triangle right here, you kind of make almost like a rainbow and it's gonna go right across here. Now remember, it's gonna be very light because it's just the beginning of our drawing. So we have our triangle is on the left side and then we have what could be a rainbow on the right side. And remember, we're gonna do it really light because this is just the outline. This is just so we know what, where we can end up putting our, our background colors. So just like that, we have a triangle and you could say a half circle if you want, or you could say a rainbow. So this is gonna be her head. This is gonna be her body. Now, I know we looked at her really quick, but on her body, she has what we call bands. And we're just gonna put these in here. I guess now she might look more like a, oh, I don't know. Now, lots of times you can tell the different types of armadillos and they can tell where they live by how many bands that they have. Like there's nine banded armadillos. We find those in the southern parts of the United States. There's three bandits. And did you know the three banded armadillo? They're the only ones that can completely roll up into a ball. The rest of them kind of tuck their heads, but they're not gonna roll up into a ball. So we have that right there. Now off of her back porch right here, we need that tail. So you come down here almost like a half smiley face yeah. right there. And you give it a point and come right back up here, just like that. All right, how's everybody doing? Is everybody doing good? Awesome, nice, I love it. Good job. All right, so we have this right here. Now, we've just got a couple more things before we do our start our background. Their ears, 
if we come off of right here, and I'll show you up close in just a minute, her ears are really kind of little and they're kind of funny looking. They almost look like a teardrop. And of course she has two ears. And that one ear is gonna go right over, right there. Some other pretty cool things about armadillos, they like to dig and they like to burrow. So I'm gonna show you something in a little bit and you will see she has really super uber duper sharp claws. They're actually really long. Now, when she was a baby, she actually came to us when she was about three weeks old. So she was not as cute as she is now. She was pink, her eyes were closed and she had no hair. She was kind of odd looking, but she grew into a, a beautiful little hairy armadillo. So for her feet, they're kind of Ooh. odd looking. They almost look like, almost like a rectangle. And then she has these nice little claws on those. And her back ones are just the same. Now it's up to you because we are gonna put some grass. Well, we might, it's up to you to decide that if you wanna put grass in the picture or not. Um, but I'm probably just gonna put one front leg and one back leg because the other ones are gonna be on the side. So once you get a basic drawing like this, and remember if you are painting, if you have made a mistake, it's okay. One, it is your painting. One, it is fun art, not fine art. But two, is that we can make corrections when we go to paint the rest of it. So yours should look similar to this. We have the triangle. We have what started off almost like a, a, a rainbow. We've added that tail and those front and back feet. So what you wanna do now is rinse off your brush you're going to give it a bath and put it to bed so take your glass wash that off then you are going to dry it off and put it down because now that we have the basic drawing we have to do we're going to work on the background so i think most of us should have a almost like a teal color and that is what you're going to use, or you can use blue if you want. Um, and that is what you're going to use on the background. Now, this one takes a little bit of time because you're going to paint anywhere that the armadillo isn't. Okay, so you can use a bigger brush if you have one. And what you're going to do is just go all the way around your armadillo and just paint. You're going to fill this whole thing in the whole board is gonna be painted that teal or blue color. Or if you wanna use regular blue, you are fine. It is your painting. When we're doing this, we also wanna make sure that, um, that you paint the edges right here. Because look, friends, when you get done with this, you paint it, you, you hang it on your front door or the middle of your living room. All right, don't put it in a closet or anything like that. You make your mom and dad put it right where everybody can see it. So you're gonna paint the whole thing around where your armadillo is. So this is why it's kind of nice if you have a somewhat bigger brush or a flat brush because you can kind of cover a bigger space um, in a shorter amount of time. Does anybody have any questions about the armadillo or maybe about the painting? Not so far, huh? Oh, yes, we do. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. All right, did you have a question? I see a hand up there. Can you unmute yourself? Oh, there you go. Could we see Dottie again? You can see Dottie again, yes. I know. Hold on. 
There she is. See, if you look at her, there's that triangle and she's got her teardrop mm -hmm. ears and look, there's the side of her with the little rainbow and there's that tail right there. She's kind of like a robo sweeper. She likes to run around. And so you can see, now this is why we call her Dottie. Look at the top of her head. She has dots up there and it's actually just little circle bumps and we'll show you how to, this is her favorite part. This is what she likes right here. She just likes to have little head scratches right on there. And while this part is kind of hard, oh, here's something we can do too. And we'll wanna remember this when we paint is these, remember these are her bands right here. So there's three banded armadillos and six banded armadillos. So if you count her, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. Yes, I know. All right, one quick look. I gotta catch up with you all now and paint the background. So she I was- I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Um, why do armadillos roll up in a ball? Well, they do that for protection. And there's only one that actually rolls all the way up in the ball. And that's the three banded, um, which I believe is from similar areas that Dottie is from. So like Bolivia and places like that, um, they're the only ones. And if you look them up at the library or online, they're kind of a gold color. And when they roll up completely, their head fits perfectly right next to their tail. It's pretty amazing. Um, and they can roll completely. Now, Dottie, what she would do if she became scared, which honestly, I've never experienced that because she's pretty outgoing. I don't think I've ever seen anything that she's scared of. Um, but what she does is um, to protect herself, she could um, tuck everything in underneath her shell, but she doesn't usually. She's usually just running around. Um, I did find one reason why that is, why she would want to though, is her belly is super uber duper soft and squishy. Um, and so it's gonna be, you know, she doesn't have that protection um, on her belly like she does on the top of her. So you're gonna just keep filling in on your background. And you're just gonna go around everything that we painted and get right up to that line there. Does anybody know what armadillos like to eat? What do you think she might like to eat? Insects. Insects? She does like, that is right. Now she's not completely an insectivore. She also eats, um, she's actually an omnivore. So her top thing she likes to eat, um, she eats an insectivore diet. It's kind of like Cocoa Puffs, but it's made for insectivores. Um, so it's all been compressed and it's very easy to feed to her. Um, since she, we've had her as a baby, she also had a little bit of formula and baby cereal. She loves blueberries mm -hmm. and she likes sweet potatoes and all kinds of fruits and vegetables. She also likes eggs. So when you get to this part, then you're gonna make sure that you paint your edges it gets a little tricky, but the nice thing is since this canvas has a little lip on it usually, then you can paint that. If you have a flat one, then the nice part is you don't have to worry about that. So you just paint these up. Now she is a hairy armadillo. She's actually a large hairy armadillo. So she'll get about double her size. There is one that is related to her. They're called hairy screaming armadillos. Yes, you can imagine why they get that name. They scream. It is a really, really high pitched scream. Um, and they don't just do it when they're scared, they just do it. So she's just a hairy armadillo. So we have to remember that when we um, add some more color to her. So we're just going to paint the edges and paint the board. Now you wanna make sure that you have, maybe you have a palette or maybe you have a paper plate or something like that. Cause 
I'm going to get her out and show her to you again, but you'll be able to see that she is not just one shade of brown. So we're going to use everyone I believe has some white and some black. And so, um, so when you get your edges painted and you have your armadillo there, then you guessed it, we have to put our brush to bed after we give it a bath. So make sure you rinse out your brush. There we go. And dry it off. Make sure we get all that color out of there. And put your brush down. I didn't hear. And I'm you still working on the background because I don't have any paint. I only have watercolors. Oh, you're okay. You just keep going along with us. It's okay. And I didn't hear what you said. Oh, about, oh, about what we're doing next? Well, what we're doing next is you keep working on your background, but what we're going to do is a lot of people have um, maybe just a dark brown and even in your watercolors, you know, the one nice thing about your watercolors is you can kind of change the shade of your watercolor just by adding a little bit more water to it. So that actually works out really well. So you keep working on that and we're just going to keep kind of plugging along. I'm going to get her out again and show you. Um, we're going to start off back with our brown again, but you keep working with your watercolors. And remember, everybody is going to kind of work at their own pace. And so then we'll all get caught up, I promise. All right, let me get her out here again. Janelle, I have watercolors too, so. Oh, nice. My name all is right. not Janelle. Oh, <laughs> That I'm is what Audrey, my name is not to know. That's my mom. Oh, nice. All right. I have so, the pen watercolors. If you look at her, so you can see she has different shades of brown. So on her back, it's really dark. And then if you look at her bands, but let's see, can you see her hair? She's really kind of hairy in there. And then look at that belly. Her belly is covered in hair. And then those are her little claws. They're very sharp. And that is her <gasps> crazy little face. Let's let them see your face. Look, oh, there you go. Yes, see that she is a one track mind. She just wants to be petted. There's her little eyes there and her ears. So what I think would probably be easiest is we're gonna start, look, she likes to, she likes to get scratched, huh? Um, so what we're gonna do is our, the brown that we're starting with, that is going to be, you're gonna probably want either a small or a medium brush. And, oops, I forgot to rinse that brush out. So, if you take that, let me pick her up one more time because it gets kind of confusing. Look at her face. So there's the top of her head. So underneath this is brown. I think I just put some paint on Dottie. A good thing it's washable paint yes apparently i have now we have a blue hairy armadillo yes oh look it'll wash right off of her just like it did you all right so take your brown and her nose is kind of a darker brown so if you make her nose right here on the end you can make a circle just like that. And it goes all the dark brown kind of comes up here and you make a spot for her eye. Right there, see it right there. And then on this side, you're gonna do the same thing, come down from the ear and put another spot for the eye. Just like that. I might have made her eyes a little crooked. So that's the good part about this paint. We can always go back through and fix it. And then it's kind of dark. And then her ears also are a little bit darker. So if you take your dark brown, 
Now, you might, just like I did, when I started to do her ear, it went into my Ooh. blue, and so it kind of pulled it through, but the cool part about that is, one, it can make your painting look kind of interesting, but it also will, um, it'll dry and you can fix it. So, when we start to put details in there, it'll all come together. So I started to make her feet dark and then you see that spot around where her eyes are gonna be. Now also her tail and her bands also are darker. So if you take your paints and you go on her bands, when we make our lighter brown, we'll pull that right through there. Oh, does anybody remember how many bands she had? Does anybody remember? Seven, I think okay. you're right. I think you're right. So I might have to add, let's see. There's one on mine, two, three, four, five, I had to squeeze another one in there, six, and maybe one more, seven. There you go. So I got my seven bands in there. And then remember her back legs, just like her front legs, are gonna be a little bit darker brown. And let me show you her tail. Her tail is pretty cool too. Cause look, she has bands on her tail also. So we have to make sure, yes, we put those in there. Now, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to how many bands she has. So you just add however many you want. Just like that. Whoops, there we go. So you can see she's got those bands, her legs. Right there. Now, keep working on that. I'm gonna give my brush a bath and put it to bed because we're gonna need to make a little bit lighter brown. Cause was she the whole same shade of brown? She wasn't, was she? She has a couple different shades. So I'm gonna take my brush and find another spot on my tray and I'm gonna add some white and I'm gonna mix a little bit of brown into it. Now remember if you're using watercolors, it's a matter of just using maybe a little bit more water to thin it out a little bit. If you have watercolors, I use my pens. Oh, that and will work. In the set, they come with this thing with water it's like uh -huh. a water brush. So if you have watercolors, you can just dip it in water and then paint. And with my background, I marbled it. Oh, very nice. I like it. Get a little better of a look. Yeah, definitely. Well, and that's but something yeah. that, yep, we're going to talk about that a little bit too, because we're going to be add, able to add all kinds of things. Now, let me show you. So I mixed up a little bit of light brown. And so if you look at her, she's got her lighter brown. It goes on what we would call her skirting um, and then on her head and so the belly. So I took some brown and added a little bit of white to it and so to start out now remember she's got those circles on her head um, those little dots so I'm going to just use my brush and go right up in here where I outlined it 
and just start tapping. So I just use a little bit of that paint, maybe put a little bit more of that brown in there. See how that's, it's a little bit lighter brown. I'm gonna go around where her nose is. And if I leave a little bit of space in there, also what you can do is, so right there, see how that's kind of a tan. I'm gonna take some more of that brown and start putting that in there also. So I'm just using a brush and just kind of tapping on the color and it just kind of mixes it in there. See how it gives it a little bit of texture there. And I'm also going to go back to my bands and with that tan that I just made, if you just start and put your brush against it, it's just going to pull some of that darker brown down. Because what will happen is you start building on this with more paint and that's how you get it in there. All right, I'm going to step away just for a second and make sure my computer is all plugged in. Sorry about that. My computer did not give me much more inning at all. <laughs> it said, your battery is low. <laughs> all right. We were sharing pictures, so. Oh, nice. Oh, I love them. So Good far. job. Yes. Oh, very nice. I like it. You guys, oh, look at that. That is awesome. Good job. So what we're going to do is just keep going with our light brown. Oh, I like that one. Nice. Good job. Fill in our bands. Nice job. So there she is. And you can blend some of the browns in because we also have to make sure, remember we're gonna add hair to her since she's a hairy armadillo. We gotta make sure we add some of that. So when we do that, she's kind of fluffy on the bottom. And we'll do that with using a very, oh, I like that. Very nice. Now I promise it looks kind of dull right now, but we're gonna add some details and that'll make it really pop. Let's see here. I will show you. So she's got her little itty bitty eyes there. And she's got those claws, look at those claws. They're very sharp, yes. So we have to make sure we add those. But most importantly, look at all that fuzzy hair. Some of it's light and some of it's dark. So to do that, you're gonna use the smallest paintbrush you have. And usually you're gonna just make little lines, kind of like if you were drawing with a pencil, find my little, little brush. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to get some of my black paint. And with the black paint, I'm actually going to make her eyes. Actually, I'll start her eyes. 
because what we'll do is add a little bit of white for the reflection. And I'm also going to use that on her claws, which are so long. So I'm going to add some black. And when I say reflection, what I do is I take, um, especially with the acrylic paints, I take the back of my paintbrush and I just add a little bit of white in her eyes right there. And you can also use a little bit of black for her to kind of add to her nose. And just to add some detail, because remember her bands, they are darker. So I might go around it in her ears, add some of that. Just like that. And those dots, I'm gonna work some of that. When you put some of the black on the brown, like that, you can add some of those, make some of that on those dots. But remember, you gotta remember the hair, because she is a hairy armadillo. And then don't forget to put those bands on her tail as well. So I'm gonna use some black and that's how I'm gonna add. I just really go over where that dark brown was. So to add to her tail and to her face. Right like that, those right there. And then I might go either with the dark brown or even the light. Now, when I'm doing the hair, what I might do is use the end of my paintbrush or you can go back and use the regular part of your hair and just add some hair to her. Because remember, she is a hairy armadillo. I love it. That is a very hairy armadillo there. Nice job. Make sure you, and remember the hair actually goes like on where some of the bands are. So if you use a little brush, you can get some of those Carry points in there. Now you should have some other colors and this is where you can kind of really make it your own. So she would be found, like we said, in Bolivia, Paraguay, places like that. And so if you want, you can use the green, you can make some, that's how I'm doing my hair on there. So I just take my brush and oh, I love it. Oh, and look at you. That is awesome. You know, she does like to climb. I like that one. You've got her climbing up there. Nice. All right. So we've got a little, just looks like not very long, huh? Um, so what I might do is I'm going to put her in some grass. So I'm going to take a, a bigger brush because she might be in that grass looking for bugs and things like that. So we will and she loves to burrow so i'm just going to take some of this green and i'm just making some grass around her 
And sometimes your colors might blend in, but that's okay. You could end up with a whole different look. You could add some brown to put her in the dirt. She really likes the dirt. That's probably one of her most favorite places to be. And make sure you put that hair on her. And then you can also use some of your colors and add your flowers if you want. I know some of you have lavender. Maybe you could give her a bug to eat or something like that. But wait, I know we're almost out of time, but I have to pull her out so you can get your final details. All right, so we'll give her another close look. And then you all have to show us what you did. All right, so here she is. So remember, she's a mammal. So she has all the same things that a mammal has, right? She has a backbone. She breathes air with lungs. She's warm blooded. So her body temperature doesn't change. It stays as the same. She's an omnivore. She did not hatch from an egg. She was born live birth. So if you look at her real close, so there's her little nose and there's her little dots. So she's got her nose there and there's her little eyes. And look, here's all of her bands and that little tail that has bands on it as well. And then if you look at her feet, oh, this is what I like to do. I just like to tickle her, yes. If you look at her feet, she's got those claws and she does have teeth, she doesn't really bite, um, but she likes to eat all kinds of things. So she eats, cat food and dog food and insectivore food. She likes bugs. She likes, um, what else does she eat? She likes blueberries and baby food and baby cereal. She's nocturnal. So remember that means she's what? What happens if she's nocturnal? When is she awake? She's, she's awake, awake at, at night, right? When we're supposed to be sleeping, yes. So she makes a lot of noise at night. Um, and then, of course, you got to get all of her hair in there, and you can see how her color kind of changes. She's dark on the top, and then she has the bands, and then she has this armor, and that's her favorite thing right there. She would do this all day long. Does anybody else have any questions or anything? Otherwise, we need to see all of your wonderful paintings. Oh, good. Oh, I like it. Nice job. Good job, friends. Nice. Oh, very nice. Good job. I like it. You guys are doing awesome. Oh, that is very nice. I love it. So did you guys have fun? Yes, good. And, and did you like learning about the armadillo? Nice. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it and keep working on it. And you can get lots of information about armadillos right at the library or even online. So anytime you have questions about animals or the faraway places, the library is like one of the best places you can ever go. So make sure you read your books for summer reading. I thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed meeting Dottie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Garth. Thank you, Dolly. You are welcome. You guys have a great day. Thank you. All right. Bye.